Yeah, students. Wow, the fun of a Switch video. That's a time when family resemblance pays you really big benefit. Good evening. It is Wednesday night, April the 22nd. We are in an empty, vacant student center. I still wish you were here. I miss you. I love you. Let's get rolling. We're going to have some fun tonight, try some different things, um, but we got a lot of exciting things in store, so let's get rolling. Wanted to let you know that this Saturday, the 25th, we will be downtown at the Salvation Army Homeless Shelter serving a hot meal. In the bio information below, you can check out a link to be able to get on the Pulpit Rock Church website to give funds to help us buy bulk foods to feed these folks. Let's be ready to do this together. This week's roll call comes from our 11th grade class. Our junior class is big and boisterous and tons of fun. Let's look forward to hearing an update from Leah and Joel Shorey. Hi, Prism. Um, this is the Shorey's doing a check-in, just telling you guys what we've been up to. Yeah, we've just been pretty bored here a little bit. We've been walking in our neighborhood a lot. We have some nice open space and our grandparents live down the street from us. So we've been seeing them a little bit and keeping safe distance. So yeah, we hope that everybody else is doing well and doing their homework. <laughs> yep. So yeah, bye-bye. Tonight is brought to us by the letter F. I want to challenge all of us together tonight. These are unprecedented days. These are times we have not seen yet, nor will probably ever see again. If we were together tonight, I would want to challenge you. Uh, wherever you sit, whatever you're up to tonight, uh, whatever you're up to, I want to challenge you this evening. And this is basically going to be a family challenge for us. And I just want to begin that way with some uh, questions to you, challenging, asking you, how are things going with your family? How are things going with your moms and your dads and your grandmas and your grandpas and your caregivers, the responsible adults in your home? How are things going with your brothers and your sisters? Maybe it's going great. Maybe it's not. You all have been cooped up with each other for weeks now. And like I say, for some of you, that might be really, really awesome. And for some of you, it might not be. It might be like, <laughs> which is fair, which is human and okay to talk about. But honestly, with the question, how are things going with your families? And if they're not quite right, what can you do as a student, bright and brilliant and beautiful to help make those things better? How are things with your family of origin? How are things with your family of choice? There can be a difference there sometimes. And I, you know, we insist here at Pulpit Rock Student Ministries that we treat each other as family. Are you reaching out to one another? Your friends from your student group, are you reaching out to them? Are you taking the initiative to reach out to your core group leaders? These people love you, adore you, and they miss you like crazy. I know that because I ask them and they tell me, that they miss you. Would you take some time today, tomorrow, or over the next week, would you take just a moment and reach out to your family member, your core group leader from Pulpit Rock Church? I'd like to really try to take a few minutes tonight and challenge you in your faith. How are things going in your spiritual journey as you are in pursuit of the Savior that honestly is in daily pursuit of you. What are you doing to grow and to stretch your faith? I want to challenge that, uh, challenge you in that this evening. Uh, this is a really big deal. When this does restore, when things do stabilize, when we get back to a supposed normal, whatever that looks like, uh, what will your faith look like? Will you be a better, improved, more refined believer as a result of this season than you are right now? And that's a really important question to be asking you specifically. Are you reading? Are you listening to worship music? Are you doing daily devotionals? Uh, there are messages that we have to be hearing during this season because there's so much negativity out there. We need positive messages that scripture, that fellow believers, our family members in Christ, uh, that worship music can be giving all of us 
Um, I was doing this last week through the YouVersion Bible app. I was doing this. You know, let me find it for you. That's a little bit better. Everything's kind of in reverse. There's a couple day devotional called Victory. And what this one does and did is it just kind of talks about and tears apart uh, popular worship songs today, the messages that are in them, to try to reaffirm, to reassure us, to remind us that we are are, should be living a victorious life. And there are so many things, so many messages in the world right now during this season that we feel like are probably overwhelming. We feel like we're being overcome. We talked about last week uh, about feeling alone and knowing that although we may feel alone, we're not truly alone. I feel like maybe I didn't do a good job last week of connecting the dots. There's lots of things that we feel in this world. I'm sorry, students, that aren't true. Our feelings don't always lead us to the truthful place. We feel alone, but we're not alone. God sent the Holy Spirit. He's always with us. Are we living this life in a victorious way? During the uh, devotional that I was doing through the YouVersion Bible app, the victory devotion, there was kind of some wording that put in there that said, we're not fighting this battle that we're fighting as Christians. We're not fighting for victory. We're fighting from victory. We're not fighting to achieve victory. Christ did that, and we just celebrated that a weekend or so ago by him defeating death. We're not fighting for victory. We are victorious. We should be fighting from a position of victory. It's been won. So what are you doing to grow your faith during this season? Honestly, when we get back together in this room, in this space, months from now, will you be a bigger better, better believer because of this season. God is in your midst and he wants to do things in your life right now. He is moving in your midst, again, unprecedented, but find him, meet him there. What are you doing to grow your faith? I found this verse that I wanted to share with you from 1 John 5, 4 says that for everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world even our faith. We're not fighting for victory. We've won. Let's fight from a position of victory. What are you students uh, doing to grow your faith? And I'm asking myself the same question. I want to be a refined, better believer, closer to Jesus when this season is over. Also with tonight being brought to you by the letter F, I'd like to spend some time tonight glorifying God, glorifying, drawing attention to, magnifying, lifting up the name of Jesus. Now, I know that a lot of you students don't think that I have any friends, which (laughs) is pretty close to the truth. But I do have a friend who is an amazing, unbelievably talented worship leader at a really big church in town, I have a friend named Ben who's the assistant worship director at Discovery Church here in town, and that church is booming. Uh, But Ben has agreed to lead us in some worship tonight, so would you just calm yourself for a few minutes? Let's get rid of distractions. Uh, Ben's going to lead us in some worship this evening. Um, I would encourage you to sing along. I would encourage you to hum along. Um, If that's not your thing, like we usually say here, just sit still and listen. Uh, Study the lyrics. God wants to meet you in your living room, there in your home, on TV, computer, on your phone. He is in your midst. Could we glorify his name for just a few minutes with my friend Ben, who's agreed to lead us in some worship this evening? Uh, Let's just be still and sing and worship for a few minutes together. All right, what's up, guys? Hi, how are you guys doing? My name is Ben. Uh, Most of you probably don't know me at all, but I know Mark, your fearless, awesome youth pastor, and he is such a great guy. I love him so much, and he asked if I would be up for doing some worship with you guys tonight, so we're going to sing some songs together, and I hope that you guys know these, and we're going to have a lot of fun, so... Let's get this kicked off. Here we go. Sing 
sing this with me. In mourning my sorrow, in dead in my sin. Lost without hope, no place to begin. Your love made a way to let mercy come in. When death was arrested, my life began. Ash was redeemed, only beauty remains. My orphan heart is given a name. My morning grew quiet, my feet rose to dance. When death was arrested, my life began. Oh, your grace, so free, washes over me. You have made Chains, I'm a prisoner no more. My shame was a ransom, he faithfully bore. He canceled my debt and he called me his friend. Oh, when death was arrested, my life began. For oh, your grace, so free, washes over me. You have made me new, now life begins with you. It's your endless love pouring down. Darkness rejoices though heaven had lost. But then Jesus arose with our freedom in hand. That's when death was arrested and my life began. That's when death was arrested and my life began. For your grace, so free, washes over me. You have made me new, now life begins with you. It's your endless, it's your endless love pouring down on us. You have made
We thank you, we thank you that we get this time to worship. We thank you 
for these students that will be watching this, God, and singing along with us, God. We pray that everybody just lifted up a shout of praise to you. We pray these things in your name. Amen. Thanks, guys. Oh, man, that was amazing. Ben is the man. And uh, I'm so happy that he's my friend, the heart that he has uh, for worship. Again, this is, I just want to be a big faith challenge for all of us uh, tonight. Uh, just some tidbits. Are you reading scripture? Get a Bible, guys. Get a Bible. Get on your phones. You guys are spending a lot of time on screens. What are you watching? What are you listening to? Uh, be in pursuit of your faith. Find a playlist on Spotify. Apple Music, whatever it is that has worship music in it, please be listening to that. Uh, let's try to have that help us grow in our faith. And let's be together. Find a way to reach out to people, which I know many of you are doing. I wanted you challenged, all of us, you, all of us challenged in our faith together tonight. This is a huge deal. Let's do this. I remember it's been several months ago now. We were in the student center. It was on a Sunday morning, so it's been a while now. And I was kind of throwing out to the group, I know that not every one of us comes from the same place. Um, a lot of kids come to church that maybe don't want to. Uh, their folks get them up, get them dressed, and bring them to church uh, and make them come. Um, I still believe God meets kids and kids meet Jesus face to face from that situation. Um, but I was challenging the group to say, oh, would you come here if your parents didn't make you? If your parents didn't force you to come, they didn't pile you into the car, would you come to church? And I remember looking over uh, to my left, and Rachel Carper was sitting there. Oh, Carper, she's amazing. And she kind of looked at me like, yeah, I, 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 I would be there. I would come. It's important to me. I, I would make a way to be here. So in a season when nobody's probably making you pursue your faith, nobody's making you come to church, heck, you can't even come. We can't even let you be here. Forget about making you. We can't even let you come. If you wanted to, what are you doing today to grow in your faith where you are? It's on you. It's on me. Man, let's do this. Uh, can we pray together? And then we'll have some fun together. Father God, thank you for this time together this evening. We love you. Thank you for loving us. Would you help us to realize that you want to be close to us? You are drawing us close during this really weird, unusual season in history. Father, would you help our students pursue and chase you? Wake up, get fired up. Get excited about you and what you're doing and who it is you've designed them to be. Father, thank you for loving us. Show us how to do that in a better way with one another. In Christ's name, amen. Tonight is brought to you by the letter F. Let's have some fun. Okay, lovelies, to continue with our family challenge theme for the evening, here's your video challenge homework for this next week. This is called Still a Team Challenge. You're going to submit video recordings to me of you basically doing activities. You're going to start something videotape it, and videotape yourself finishing something. For example, Luke Slater could kick a soccer ball and then videotape himself receiving a soccer ball. Rachel Carper could videotape herself kicking a soccer ball and then videotape herself catching a soccer ball. Then I will, what I will do is take those two videos and splice them together and show Luke Slater kicking a soccer ball and Rachel Soccer... <laughs> Rachel Soccer... Rachel Carper catching the soccer ball that Slater kicked to her. I have a video example for you to check out. Here will be your video homework challenge. Still a team. Check it out. All right, guys. This is your student ministry. We're still a team challenge. I'll start the challenge. And I finished the challenge. Or like this. All right, hopefully you got the idea of what we're going to try to be up to this week and be creative. It doesn't just have to be sport activities, something in the kitchen, something in the house, something in the garage. You guys work together, involve your families. 
Uh, this should be a ton of fun. Speaking of fun, I love Dude Perfect, but I would never be able to do what they do. I would never have the time to do what they do, and I'll never get paid what they get paid, but they are up to some fun. So this past week, I had some help, and we started what we're going to call Dude Whatever. We're going to have some hilarious fun just once in a while, but tonight, to end things, we want to show you the inaugural episode of Dude Whatever. Prism, welcome to Dude Whatever Wrong Ball Challenge. Here we go. Culver's Ball. Yep. Oh. Culver's Ball Playground. Hello. Dude, whatever. Frisbee's liar. Dude, whatever! Take it a little easy. <laughs> golf ball galactic golf ball Dude, whatever. Uh. 
Dude, whatever. lovelies that's it for this week I want to tell you i miss you and i love you and make sure you tune in next wednesday night we'll be having some instagram live fun after we're done at 6 30 see you next week later <laughs>